Don Kawasaki, I'm coming for you. You ain't nothing but a nerd. Don Kawasaki, you're dressed like a news reporter from 1973. But in 73, I was in Nagasaki, lay with a sweet, sweet mama side. Don Kawasaki, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your job, pile driver. I'm coming for you. Everybody talking about Ric Flair, biggest party man in the business. Ain't know nothing about me, cause I party with Terry Funker and we get a whole lot drunker. One of the things I want you to know is if you look up Stanley Turbine in the dictionary, it's gonna be fabulous. Right next to the free bird. I'll drive a, I want you to get ready for the party and the wind that Stanley Turbine brings. Let's drink to that, boys. Welcome back and come with Sta, my excellent friends. How are we? It is Scotty Mega, Pile Driver 32. We just had a message from a guy calling himself Stan Turbine. I don't know what he wants with this show. Some videos were sent in. My editor took care of this. I don't know where he came from. But he said that's not, not the last we're going to see of him. And it sounds like he's going after that weird kooky guy, Don Kawasaki. Uh, I don't know where we found him either. But Stanley Turbine, he apparently wants a job or a spot on Piledriver. Here's to you, my Funkers. It is Wednesday. Came home, got some groovy stuff in the mail. Uh, two of these, I'm unsure of what they are. One, I do know what it is. This here, I'm not sure what this one's about or who it's from. Ah, I didn't think they'd be here yet. But these are for Rin, and uh, I think they're pretty cool. They're not going to fit me, but uh, they will fit her. We got the Hulkamania Running Wild Odd Socks. It's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, same design on both sides, so that's cool. You got Hogan's face on your legs. So it looks like it got bent. Hopefully uh, not too bad. Hopefully. Because this is something I bought to upgrade from something I currently already have, but mine's in worse for wear shape. Should have asked the guy to send it in the top loader, but here we are. Ah, the last package. All I had to do was look at the sender. Uh, you should be following our friends over at the Hasbro Fanatic. Uh, they're on Instagram. They do some excellent things, post some really cool stuff. And I won a raffle, a free raffle. I don't know why somebody would use this. That is terrible. I definitely should have told this guy how to package this before he sent it. I was aware of a little tear, uh, but like I said, mine's water stain from my childhood. Uh, had a leak, and all these were on the wall. But mine got, mine got wet, and it's all discolored and looks weird. But anyhow, there it is: the LJN Terry Funk poster that came with the figure. That's pretty excellent. I'm very happy to have that. That just means I take the water damage one and I put it in a frame. So that's cool. This, however, like I said, Hasbro Fanatic. Um, I'll throw a little link up there for you to follow him on the Instagrams. Um, I must say thank you. Uh, always an excellent page to follow, post and really cool stuff. Let's see what this baddie is. Free raffle, nothing's, nothing's gonna not be cool in a free raffle. So that's cool. Got a Series 4 uh, Jack Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's a fun figure. I was very happy when this one came out because, you know, we didn't really have a, a good Steve up until this point. So thank you so much. Let's 
something else in there. Make sure we're not leaving anything out. Ring ropes. Can't beat that. The old red, white, and blue ski. Duncan Bubblegum. With stickers. It's uh, an empty wrapper. I think he did this on purpose because I hate Bret Hart and he knows it. But uh, it's one of his favorites. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Empty candy wrapper there with Bret Hart on it. <laughs> Once again with the Bret Hart. <laughs> so there is a Wrestling Loot uh, Series 3 trading card. Bret Hart. And then the old Action Pact. I remember those. Very cool cards. Nikolai Volkov, uh, who I worked several shows with and has passed away, so... Uh, may Zod rest your soul. That's very cool. Thank you for those. I did see one other thing rolling around in there. Yep, and we have... Looks to be a Mannix diesel head. Uh, repainted. I don't know if this is 3D printed or what, but that's kind of cool. So, thank you for that. That's fun. Always fun to have a little Hasbro head rolling around in, uh, in the pocket or the the toolbox, so I appreciate that. Oh, you know what? He's magnetic. That must mean he's for a custom. Guess I'm gonna have to make a diesel. Very neat, thank you so much. Uh, I'm not sure who makes the heads for you. I know there's a lot of guys on the uh, Instagram who do do the custom figures as well as myself, so very good paint job on that. It's very fun. So once again, thank you Hasbro Fanatics can't even speak right now. I'm so flustered. So I appreciate it. Let's see what else is going on in the wacky world of Power Driver. Something new and exciting. And I'm sitting inside of it. Over here at the West York Inn, we now have a live music venue that's going to be kicking into full force. Sorry, what? You've run two shows so far? Yeah, we had one official show and we had the sound test so far. So yeah, two shows. Cool, and uh, I know we had Coffee with Lions. Um, Cold Blood Creep and Single Hitter. Single Hitter, yeah. So I know guys from two of those bands, um, and that wasn't really advertised, it was just kind of test the, test the whole new venue. But yeah, West York Inn, uh, you got a show coming up halfway to Halloween, and that's what we like. We like to dress up, pretend we're somebody else, and get drunk and become somebody else. But here at Pile Driver, you know, we. We don't know nothing about that, but go ahead, give me some adverts. I want to know some stuff. All right, so we got, uh, starting on the 23rd, we got a bunch of shows coming up all the way through the end of July. We got uh, every first Friday, we got Ash Fifth coming in. Ash you know Fifth Ash. coming in, yeah. yep. A little classic rock every first Friday, of the first, first Friday of the month. $5 cover, come on in, hang out, listen to some live music. Uh, 23rd, we got, uh, April 23rd, it's, uh, GM3 is coming in, it's a party band, come hang out, have some drinks. Got a good rock show on the 24th with uh, Fatal Aggression, thrash metal band coming down from Reading. They'll be joined by a local metal band, Dreams of Eden, and Cole from York too. Nice, nice. Solid lineups right around the corner from Pile Driver headquarters. And uh, um, so we got the flyer here in our hand, but I will also post that so you can get all the details. Um, there's a Facebook for the West York Inn, and uh, I'll definitely get some details posted on that and uh, just quick follow-up. But thank you so much uh, for doing this with me, sitting here in the ambient lighting of the stage. Um, no front man, don't play any, <laughs> I said, oh, I don't play any positions. I, I, don't, I don't play any instruments. Uh, delicious beverages, wonderful menu. So uh, stop on into the West York Inn and uh, Get yourself some drinks, some food, and uh, now some entertainment that we have a venue in York again. Here we are. I uh, just wanted to show you some stuff I picked up this weekend. I was pretty excited by this one because I remember having it on VHS as a kid, whether we rented it or 
recorded it off a of TV, but I found it at the flea market. Probably my favorite buy of the weekend, but Suburban Commando. What a cast, what a film. Look at that, you got Hogan, Christopher Lloyd, Shelley Duvall. It's a toss up for me, Shelley Duvall in The Shining or Shelley Duvall in Popeye. I don't know, it's two of my favorite movies she was ever in. Uh, but yeah, you got the Hulkster and Undertaker. First appearance of him, pretty happy to have that one. Um, somebody was kind and they did rewind, so I'll be popping that in later to check it out and just add it to the Hulk Hogan VHS collection. Another thing I picked up, because I'm a bit of a psycho when it comes to my movie collection, was another copy of Rob Zombie's Halloween. The only reason I did that is because I have this one, still factory sealed, which is the three disc edition. Very fun. Also have the two disc edition on Blu-ray. Um, then I have the regular two disc version, which is my original. Oh, it's got them double clasps, looking like an idiot. The old unrated two disc edition, pretty cool. Um, the three disc edition has different artwork as well. So, but the one I picked up this weekend is printed, not sticker, blockbuster edition. Pretty cool, had to have it, add it to the collection. Speaking of Halloween, the West York Inn has the Halfway to Halloween show happening on May 1st. And one of the bands that is playing on that show is Coffee with Lions. Last Friday, I got to spend some time with the boys. Here's the footage. I'm Doug. seen and I've previously said a million times I'm a psycho or a maniac when it comes to certain things. A lot of my DVD collection is made up by horror uh, and wrestling stuff. I do have a lot of comedies in there as well but hey look there's Sid. Anyhow um, speaking of Sid, speaking of Rob and to retort back to the Rob Zombie Halloween um, I have this weird thing um, if the DVD artwork or something is different and I know it, I'm going to chase it down. Uh, so here's my Devil's Rejects. Nice little uh, two-disc special edition director's cut with the Mosley autograph. Gotta love that. Bill's always just such a good dude. He's so nice. Uh, this one here, two-disc director's cut again, but this one's not signed. So this is the one I let people borrow if they don't want to borrow the Blu-ray. This one here is a printed full screen. And this one here is a single disc sticker. Um, this full screen here also does not have anything printed at the top. But if you look in the single edition sticker version, it says disc one. I know, I'm a maniac. Anyhow, my DVDs lack something that I saw one online, had to have it. 
because I do not own it in my collection. But once again, we have the two disc collectors cut. Or I'm sorry, two disc directors cut. Yes. I don't know if I just lost mine over the years or what, but it's got, you know, your book in there, which is really cool. Um, got some cool artwork in there with all the scenes and what's what's deleted but the the, the little fold-out poster is pretty cool synopsis of the film uh that ending was amazing and it would be about almost 15 years until we got something else uh in three from hell but this one has the comic book very cool artwork uh, standalone. I've seen this thing sell for about $20 on its own, and I got this copy for $10. But yeah, uh, rather graphic. Hopefully I didn't flash those boobies on the screen and get yelled at by YouTube for animated breasts. But yeah, very cool. Uh, happy to have that. So yeah. Neato. Happy to throw that in the collection. So that takes the Devil's Rejects two, five copies, but House for Thousand Corpses, it's, uh, it's 11, it's 11 copies of standard U.S. releases on DVD, because I'm a retard, so anyhow, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Pile driver, I appreciate you tuning in. The likes, the shares, the comments. If you haven't done so before, please subscribe now. Uh, please join us once again, uh, May 1st at the West York Inn for the halfway to Halloween party. Three bands, five dollars. There's an album release party. It's gonna be a good time. I'm really looking forward to it. A venue, music. After all this COVID nonsense, we're finally going to get to see some good stuff. Anyhow, I'm a funker. That guy's definitely a funker. See you guys later.